Hello guys, Soft Tony here and in today's tutorial we will be creating a stunning 3D text animation here in After Effects. In just a few steps we will make a 3D scene and I will show you how to elevate your design to the next level. And before we start make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, hit the like button and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming video clips. So enough talking and let's jump into After Effects and create this cool 3D text animation. Alright, we're here in After Effects and first, like always, let's create new composition, Control or Command plus N on your keyboard or hit on this little icon, of course this is gonna be final like usual, and for the width and height let's go full HD, 9020 by 1080 and for the duration type your own number, for me 30 seconds is ok. Now hit here ok and now let's create another composition, hit on this uh, little icon again and for this one let's type text 01. And instead of this 9020, let's type here 250 for the width. Hit OK and as you can see now we have this new composition. And here inside this new composition let's create background, go right click to create new solid layer. This is gonna be text background, also 250 by 1080 and then hit OK. Go here in the facts and preset and if you can't find the facts and presets just go window and you will find the facts and presets here. Now let's type fill effect ok drag and drop onto the background change color to this to black color and then hit ok now let's hit ctrl plus t or go here on this little icon horizontal type tool and i will type just random text but before that i'm using this montserrat black font for the font size to around 150 and i will just type random text creative and this is looking cool now hit on our text hit r for rotation and let's type here 90 Ok, now hit again on our creative text, go here in align option and align it to the center and if you can find align option just go window and you will find align here. Ok, now let's close this effects control for now, also this text 01, now open up this final comp and drag and drop this text 01 here inside of our final composition. One thing we have forgotten to do, open up this text 01, select this created text again, go in the facts and preset and also drag and drop fill effect. And now we have this cool combination of black and red colors. Ok, go back here in the final composition and make sure that you turn on 3D for this text 01. If you can find this 3D option, hit here toggle switches and modes, turn on 3D option and just change here from one view to two views. And as you can see on our left side we have top view. Now what we can do is to duplicate this text 01, hit Ctrl plus D or go edit and then duplicate and let's change our position, hit P for position and also for this X parameter let's type here 960 plus 125, also hit R for rotation and let's go Y rotation to around 90. This is looking cool, let's duplicate this once again, hit Ctrl plus D, hit P for position and instead of this number let's type here minus 250 and now as you can see we have this opposite text 01 and let's also duplicate this middle text 01 hit ctrl plus d hit p for position for this one and let's type here minus 125 okay and for this upper one hit p for position and instead of this minus 125 type here 125 and now as you can see we have perfect box of our creative text. I will switch back to one view and for me this is looking cool. Now let's create camera here in our scene, go right click to create new camera, hit ok and also let's create camera controller, go right click to create new null object, I will just rename this one to controller, ok, now select all of our text 01 and make sure to parent it with our controller. Next step that we're gonna do is to duplicate this text 01 here in the project window, hit Ctrl plus D, now this is gonna be text 02, select this first text 01 and this second text 01, hold Alt on your keyboard and just drag and drop here into the timeline. Now we have also text 02, open up this new composition and let's change background, hit F3 to show effects control and change color to this pure white color. Hit OK, go in the final composition, Select this controller, hit P for position 
and we have forgotten to turn on 3D option for this controller. And also let's change here few settings for the orientation. Let's go to around 350, hit R for rotation also. And let's change this X rotation to maybe around minus 20. You can play around with those parameters. I'm just showing you the way. For the Y rotation, let's go to around 20. Now let's also hit P for position and you can reposition this Y parameter to maybe somewhere around here. This is looking cool. And now let's also pre-compose everything, select everything, go right click and then go to pre-compose. This is gonna be shape 01 and then hit OK. Now let's go here in the facts and preset, find drop shadow effect. Okay, drag and drop onto the shape 01. And for this distance, let's go to around 10 and for the softness go to around 20. Now let's duplicate this drop shadow once, hit control plus D. For the distance, let's go to around maybe 50 and for the softness go to around 200. And now as you can see, we have those cool shadows in our final composition. Now let's duplicate this shape 01 for a few times, hit control plus D, select this lower one, hit P for position and move it slightly to the right side. Let's also duplicate this shape 01 once again, select this bottom one and reposition, repeat the procedure like before. Also hit control plus D once again, and repeat everything until you're satisfied with the results. And let's also duplicate as many times as we need to fill out our composition. Hit Ctrl plus D, P for position and move it to the right side, something like this. Now select everything, hit Ctrl plus D once again, move them above our shape 01, hit P for position and move it all the way to the left side or something like this. And when we hit zero in our finals, Nothing happens. Let's also animate here in our shape of one. Just double click, go here in the controller, hit R for rotation, and let's set up the first keyframe for Y rotation here at zero frames, and then go all the way to the 30 seconds, and let's type here maybe four. And now when we hit zero, as you can see, we have this cool animation of our creative text. One thing we have also forgotten, to change maybe this creative text to maybe tutorial just to see different text and go here in the final composition hit zero and our animation is looking cool now what we can do is to reposition here in the finals grab random texts something like this reposition it play around with shapes until you're satisfied with your final results i'm just showing you the way cool hit zero again and our animation is looking great. Reposition a bit more, okay. And this is looking awesome. All right, guys, for the final step, you can also add adjustment layer, go right click to create new adjustment layer, go here in the facts and preset. Let's type here, turbulent displays, drag and drop onto the adjustment layer. And if you like this kind of look, you can play around here with the options, displacements, a bit cool bulge or twist, play around until you're satisfied with your final results. Okay, hit zero. And now we have something like this. What we can do also if you don't like this kind of view, go here in the facts of preset. Let's type optics compensation, drag and drop here on our adjustment layer and hit here on this option reverse lens distortion. And for the field of view, let's go to around 100. And now we have this type of look. If you like this one, you are free to render out something like this. I'll just turn off this effect for now. I will show you another one. Let's type here warp effect, drag and drop onto our adjustment layer. And here for the warp style, instead of this arc, find fish eye. And for the bend, you can go this way. Or what I like to do is to hit maybe minus 75. And now we have this type of cool look in our final composition. All right, guys, I have shown you this cool technique. You can play around with all of the options until you're satisfied with your final results. In every moment, you can reposition our shape here. Just play around until you're satisfied with your own final results. All right, guys, that was everything for today's tutorial. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider to subscribe. Also take a look on my channel for more useful and great tutorials and until next time stay creative and bye bye.